This is the Stryker M1126 vehicle for bringing troops into the field. One nice feature of this vehicle is that it protects the people who are riding inside of it. So you have actually a three layer structure. There's a layer of steel, layer of Kevlar on top of that, and then ceramic plates on the outside which are replaceable. So when a bullet hits the plate, it actually is absorbed by the ceramic. The ceramic may break or crumble in that one spot, but that diffuses the energy of the shot. So this can be hit by bullets, you know, any kind of small arms fire, completely harmless to the vehicle. And then when you take it back to the shop, you can replace these plates with new ones so that you can go back out into the field. Another feature is these tires. There's eight wheels, it's always four wheel drive, optional eight wheel drive. The tires, obviously, if you hit them with a bullet, you don't want them going flat. So there's a, a donut, a hard rubber donut inside. When the vehicle takes a shot to the tire, the tire will deflate maybe four inches at most, and then it's riding on a basically indestructible hard rubber tire that keeps it rolling, even if all eight wheels are shot out. The vehicle is designed to bring troops into battle and get them back out safely. There's smoke grenade canisters, there's also a 50 caliber machine gun that's able to lay down fire and we'll go inside and see how you actually control all these systems from inside the armor. In the back you've got eight soldiers, a squad leader, a vehicle commander, and then the driver up front. And you've got all the comforts of home back here. First thing, fire suppression system. There's a sensor here that can detect a couple different ways whether there's been an explosion or a fire inside the vehicle automatically releases fire suppression from four different points back here. You've got an uh, air filtration system so that if you're in an area with nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons you can be breathing air that's clean. It can also be heated if you're operating in an arctic environment. Full HVAC system even a meal heater if you have an MRE and you need to heat it up. The vehicle commander would sit here, the gunner's seat is here, the driver sits way up front, uh, completely isolated and, and protected up there. From the gunner's station, you have screens with a mapping system, the ability to overlay on that where um, friendlies and enemies are. You have the gunner's screen, which allows you to look out at the world from the gun turret that we saw before. You also have a set of, I don't know, 10 periscopes in case you want to get a real view of the world or you just open the hatch overhead and stick your head out. Both the gunner and the driver have periscope systems that supplement the electronic systems for viewing the world. You have the, the turret up here with the grenade launchers, the 50 caliber machine gun. Underneath the front hatch there is the engine, a 350 horsepower CAT diesel engine, 53 gallons of fuel, gives it a range of about 330 miles, which isn't bad for a vehicle that when it's fully loaded with troops weighs about 38,000 pounds. So, if you're looking for a vehicle, plenty of room, lots of features, it's only $1.5 million. You can take it off the lot today.